third class, and there are two schools of thought. Half the kids think Murph did it, and the other half hate Mr. Bocat. But we have no eyewitness to the alleged cheating incident, so Murph could be telling the truth. It's going to be impossible to prove. There'll be other stories for us. Do you really think that Murph is innocent? We'd sure like to. He's a pretty dutiful dude. <laughs> well, then don't you give up. People are innocent until proven guilty. Would Woodward and Bernstein have shut down their typewriter? Would Mike Wallace have stopped peering through those Venetian blinds? Would Lois Lane have turned in her whiteout? Yeah, this is still America. I'm getting goosebumps on my hat. <laughs> One master stroke, the sun set, along with Boris's hopes. Hey, you're really making that chess column sing? Yeah, it practically wrote itself. Now we think we're ready to tackle an even bigger story. A student was suspended for cheating in one of your classes. However, the teacher might have been a mistake. Who was the student? Murph the Surf. Oh, it's no mistake. He cheated. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. I mean, even from my seat across the room, I saw Mr. Wiltrek catch Murph with the crib sheet. Crib sheet? Mm-hmm. Right in his hands. I mean, if that isn't a smoking gun, I don't know what is. There's our eyewitness. Goodbye, Pulitzer surprise. Hello, chess club. Oh. <laughs> was thick with salt and sweat. A lone gull cried out for its mate, and so did Boris's king, for the white queen had been taken. Oh. Does this mean I'm off the chess beat? Well, we're off the cheating story. Murph is guilty. Oh, oh no. Oh, did you tell him? It looks like we're going to have to. Yay, hey, Reporters, check it out. A new clue. The cripsy will check busted me with. The principal gave it to my parents when he laid the suspension wrap on him. Well, wait. What is it? It's a logarithm chart from a trig book, page 54. Murph, this isn't a clue. This is incriminating evidence. I suggest you call Zyla a lawyer. <laughs> In life, there are three things I never do. I never lie about the size of a wave. I never steal another guy's ride. And I never cheat on land or sea. Because if you cheat, well, the big wave maker will fully ding your karma. <laughs> Only Monique understands. Trick book! Murph! Wait, wait, is this your trick book? Sure. <laughs> there it is, page 54 is intact, which must mean that the real cheater could have planted it in your pocket! Mm. Yeah! Murph, I think you've been framed. Unjustly punished! Kidget Griffin, star reporter. Back on chess moves? <laughs> Murph, I think we're gonna clear you. Yeah! <laughs> Hey! Yeah.